It's MC Monty in the place to be. Welcome to the adventures of MC Monty. Happy New Year. This month's theme, the White Ranger. In this video, we're gonna be building the White Ranger gauntlets and leg armor. If you enjoy my videos, remember to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can get notified anytime I post a new tutorial or video. Also, check out my Patreon page, link in the description below. For this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger build series, you can follow along to learn how to create your own pattern or you can download the pattern that I created. If you would like to download my pattern, I'll put a link in the description below. As usual, I put all the supplies that we're gonna need to build our White Ranger cosplay in the description below. So check out the list, gather your supplies, and let's get to it. Measure the diameter of your wrist. Measure the biggest part of your forearm. You can use measuring tape, and if you don't have measuring tape, you can use a string. Do the same thing for your calf muscle and halfway between your calf and your ankle. Next, print out your patterns. You're gonna need a pattern for your leg and for your arm. Put your pattern together at the center dots and cut out the size that you need. For my arm, I need the 12 and a half by eight and a half pattern. And for my leg, I need the 14 inch by nine and a half inch pattern. Now you have a pattern for your leg and a pattern for your arm. Trace these onto EVA foam and cut them out. After I cut out my pattern in four millimeter EVA foam, now it's time for me to prep my piping. For White Ranger, I like to use this EVA foam dowel that I found at the craft store. You can find them in half moon or you can find them in a whole circle. And I have a few half moons left and I need some more. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Now I'm going to measure the length that I need for my piping. The next thing I'm going to do is trace off where the piping is going to go. The next thing you want to do is draw lines straight down your bracing that are about one inch apart. The best way to do this is to find the center and then draw lines straight down your center and then do one inch from there. Now every time you adjust the ruler, make sure your line is still going straight up and down. Next, use a sharp blade to cut a detailed line where you just drew your lines. You want to cut about halfway through the EVA foam. Use a heat gun to expand your cuts. Next, use Mod Podge to prime your pieces. Next, paint your piping black. Next, paint these sections black, and then once that dries, paint them gold. Next, we're gonna make some attachments for our piping and our Velcro. Using scrap EVA foam, I'm cutting out pieces to use for attachments. I'm using contact cement to glue all my pieces into place. Just die. 
White Ranger Gauntlet slash Bracers complete. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment and let me know how you did. My White Ranger cosplay is really coming together. I hope yours is looking great as well. If you enjoy my tutorials, please consider becoming a patron. Check out my patron page when you get a chance. Link in the description below. Also, follow me on social media. If you're on Facebook, please like my Facebook page. And if you're on Instagram, please follow my Instagram. Always remember, adventure awaits. So get out into the world and explore. And I'll see you next week as we continue to build our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger cosplay. Peace.